Okay guys, so this is the first run with the BQYs. I got uh, two packs on there. And uh, yeah, this is the first real run. But uh, I tried it first day I got the batteries with only uh, one battery and it couldn't push my truck. I was very discouraged. Well, that's because if you work it out, it's only a 107 amp battery constant, not uh, nowhere near enough to run my truck because my truck is rated for like 200 constant and uh, like 300 or 350 burst or something like that. So, now that I've got two batteries on, it should be good for a little test run. Three batteries would be the best for it because uh, then I'd have 300 amp constant and like 400 amp burst or something. But, she, uh, Seems to go. I'm doing this one handed by the way, so. Definitely got some get up and go. Hell yeah. But anyways guys, I figured I should make a video so that way you guys can See these new batteries? They definitely got some go power. So the other day, playing with my truck, and uh, end up snapping some axles. So uh, today I went out, bought some new parts there. That hooks onto the transmission, and. There's the axles right there, which you guys can barely see because there's bright ass light. And you got that right there, comes with all the little uh, chrome tees or metal tees, whatever you want to call them. Then uh, got this right here, the stub axle rear. And uh, yeah, so picked up those parts today and actually uh, I had crazy like Elbert over here the other day. Alright, so we got tires here. A uh, little trick that he was telling me about is uh, with regular tires um, depends on how soft they are but uh, a lot of the time you buy like for instance, Traxxas tire, it's a stock stampede. You buy them, you drive them in the rain, do some mudding, whatever, you know, go through a couple puddles, and they end up going off balance because there's water stuck in the tire. Well, anyways, according to the manual, you just drive and they'll spray it out, but as any real RC guy knows that does not work. The water just stays in there and it spreads out and you're okay for a while. But every time you stop the water settles and then you go to go and you get a wicked vibration. So uh, crazy like Elbert came by and we were talking about it and whatnot and uh, he showed me a cool trick. Um, basically if you just stab a hole Right in the middle of your tire, just one hole. Um, what I used for that was just the little eyeglass screwdriver. And all I did here was just pushed it in, gave it a little turn, gave it a good hard push while cranking it, pokes right in, then just pull it out. And uh, yeah, if you only have rear wheel drive, Stick it onto your rear axle, spin it up nice and slow, you don't want to go too fast, otherwise the weight in the, the water in the tire may blow it up. So you do that, take it nice and slow at first, keep spinning it up a little bit more. Once it starts coning, just hold it there, put your hand by the tire, if it's spraying you with water, you've done it right. But, uh, 
We're not sure how they'll work with a soft compound, like these are pretty hard and they're only really low pro tires, so you know, these you don't have to worry too much about, but something like monster truck tire might split apart. You know, if I get some monster truck tires, I'll try it. I'll throw some water in one and poke a hole and see if it totally rips apart or what. But uh, basically, yeah, that's working for me. Just poke a hole into it and now I'll always be good. And all I have to do is when I'm on the road, let's say front tires get wet. All I gotta do is just go full throttle, and uh, it should spin it all out within a couple minutes. But anyways guys, um, back to this parts and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so I got the truck there with no tires on it. There you go. Got no tires, don't even have the drive shafts then, because the other day when I was driving, can't find one. Oh, there it is. Nope, oh, that ain't it. But anyways, the other day when I was driving, I noticed that they're starting to get, you know, they're not holes, they're oval now. So, I decided I better change them. That one ain't too bad. That one's still a good part. But, uh, main reason I changed it is because I snapped the one off that's on the transmission, so... <laughs> So yeah, I figured there was no point in just trying to replace one, might as well replace both. But anyways guys, I figured I would uh, give you that little hint that Crazy Like Elbert gave me about just poking a hole in the tire, and uh, that's about it. Have a good one.